Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War. No, sorry, XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the legendary Iron Man Army of One or Lone Wolf Run. My name is Saiken and we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only one soldier per mission. It's time to go on to our first guerrilla operations mission to try to get the engineer here. I want to manage expectations once again. We're not going to win the mission. Uh, the idea here is to simply kill one or two enemies, get a little bit of experience, sneak out of there, maybe get some loot and call it a day. We're equipping the items out of the Legacy DLC, so none of this here is from a mod, it's simply the normal DLC stuff. And Roby goes in with the latest equipped swag out of uh, the DLC. A one-man show. The lone wolf attempt on the first mission. I am curious whether or not we're going to be able to kill. If we're going to be able to kill one of the enemies at least. And there we go. We landed in the sewer ports. And as you can see, the transmitter is like pretty far away. Only four rounds to go. It's never going to work out. However, we can use the time in order to get some insight. Taking some cover. And there's the first pack already. Well... How do we approach uh, these two fine gentlemen? Might be able to move like all the way around here. Okay. So this here would leave us in cover. Sectoid is anyways trying to mind spin, but it's not a guaranteed hit. The other option that we do have is Take a 91% shot and simply kill him and stay in our good cover. I like that. Let's start. Nice one. Good. Now, it's a bit of a gamble because if we're getting mind controlled, I think it's already a good game. Good. We've got to be careful. We don't want to stand uh, within. We don't want to stand within the reach of the zombie. So we could position ourselves here. He still has a mind spin, which he's going to use instead of his um, his gun ability. The gun wouldn't kill us as it deals only 3 damage. And we can use the melee vulnerability. Oh shit. Well now it's going to be interesting. Luckily we did a bit of a preparation and I played it safe instead of reckless. And we're simply going to evac out. Well. Almost killed two of them. Three, because it would have killed the zombie as well. Roby did reasonably well. Nothing to be ashamed of. He tried his very best and took a kill out of it. So a tiny bit of experience and mission experience for him. Good enough for now. And we got the black side. Time to get our engineer. 
all of this here was a good starter, but I never thought that we would um, effectively get our first engineer from the mission. As for research, got an inspiration for resistance communication. So, yep, let's definitely do that. I think it's a 20% reduction of the research time. So two or three days that we got out of this inspiration. And there's our first engineer. Close shuffer. Now back to the Templar HQ. I was hoping we would get some more assets, but apparently nothing spawned. Uh, that's a unique mission. Interesting. We're seeing a scientist, a hundred intel and a grenadier, plus a lot of loss in this mission. Rescue stranded agents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's think that through. We could go with Roby. However, we would probably we would probably have a an issue with the loss. Could go with Hogbite. Dealing better with the loss and being more mobile. Let's try Hogbite. But in order to use him, I would like to go with a med kit just in case. Not only does it provide immunities, it also is a nice add-on and effectively adds four hit points for him. If we play our cards right on this mission, there is even a tiny bit of a chance that we could win it. And there we go. So we're starting without concealment. And we got a lot of loss, which one person certainly cannot deal with. And we got a timer of four rounds. Not sure if we can rescue the squaddy. can try. But it's going to be difficult. Okay, moving up to here, which is not only cover, but it also protects enemies from moving up to us. It's a really nice position up here. Could move all the way up to here. I'm wondering if this was push it too much. Let's try to deal with the loss first. Also get up our focus. Okay, it's going to be hairy. Moving to here would bring all of them a little bit closer. And we're in a solid cover position. Six hit points. Whew. I'm not sure if we will be able to to even reach the convoy. Way too many hit points to chew through. This is going to be a kill. Not going. Uh, we don't need to reload. 
problem with the rest is it's a pretty 50-50 gamble game so we got to move closer to the convoy and I'm going to abuse the Templar action economy here moving here taking out the ones that we definitely can take out nope that's too risky we're not going to take any hits that might not work out instead we're going to kill Finally, got our focus back up. And we're going to position ourselves here, which makes it impossible for them to climb up. Sounds like the lost are getting a lot closer to our position, Commander. Prepare for more incoming. These lost seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. They're almost out of ammo for the turret, Commander. We have to get moving. Are you kidding me, Bradford? Seriously. Am I looking Am I looking like an idiot to you? Of course we need to get to them. Duh. But recklessly running in will not help anyone. So I could go down kill one of them with the Uzi, another one with uh, Strike, and then move on. Unfortunately, we still don't have Parry, which would make the whole thing so much easier. Can move up to here, which again blocks their movement towards us. Okay, so that is an option. All of these here are 50-50 chances because the gun does not deal enough damage to kill them and we don't have the between the eye uh, mm, option yet. However, what we could do is we can use Volt and essentially kill two of them. Hmm. Let's shoot one, take the 50-50, and then vote the other two. That way, either the one here is softened up. Yep, or we kill him and kill the other two on top of it. Wow, are you are you even serious? I need the between the eye resistance order. This here is getting completely and utterly out of hand. The turret just ran dry of ammo. They've got nothing to hold back the loss now. Menace one five, get to their position on the double. Yeah. Thank you, Bradford. Oh, great. Look at that. No, no. Well, that's only an 88% uh, chance to kill them. Problem with the explosion here is I don't know if it's going to reset our actions. Might as well want to trigger them to come a bit closer. We probably are going to get swarmed from here and take some hits. 
but we're at least blocking this ladder here. So let's take the 90% shots. Could also simply kill both of them here or kill the two of them back here, which I think we hmm. could also move in, strike someone down here, and then climb up here, essentially blocking all of their ways. I think that's the smartest move so far. Okay, so this here will block them. Don't know if this, the scientist is going to survive it. I hope so. Uh, I did whatever I could. And they're currently just trying to come up after me. Okay, a few things that we might want to look for is where are the 100% kills? This is one. Seems to be the only one. Everything else has more hit points. Four, three, four, three. Well, the one that I softed up. <laughs> there you go. Nope. Okay, if we were to rescue these guys here and then just take the money and run. Double move and get the living hell out of here. I think that's one of the few options to make this one here work. Would be nice to have the minigun back in action. Fortunately, it completely ran out of ammunition and even more losses appear. Well, great. Uh, was the carrying part the one that ended the turn or not? I think carrying was for free. Dropping it costed, uh, costed a time unit. Okay, so moving all over here. Of course, more of these guys. Well, that's fine. Might get a hit or two. Our VIP runs. And now it's a matter of just getting out of here. Oh, yeah, sure. Fortunately, the VIP couldn't carry the squaddy. If he could, that would have been awesome.
I do have severe fears about maybe being completely surrounded. Wait, wait, wait. If we were to move up here... Yep, I think that would block them. Let's try to do that. Not sure how he like climbs up a ladder with uh, someone on his back. Hogbite must be incredibly ripped to do that if you've ever done climbing in your life and and you are even climbing like easy ladders or really really uh, easy rock climbing and you do have like what 150 200 pound uh, soldier on your back he's probably the most trained person in the world And so far, he hasn't been hit once. Scientist moves on the double. We're taking the next position where they can't reach us. <laughs> this time, taking an even smaller letter because apparently that's the fastest way uh, for him to get out of here. Yeah, right. High, absolutely realistic climbing maneuver here. It would be so cool if we could kill some more of uh, them. Nice. We can even get to here. You know, I'm thinking, maybe we want to give Hogbite a few more kills. It's in a pretty solid position there. However, the enemy is closing in fast, so he will get some more contacts next turn. Can't fully uh, get out of here. Well, he could just take a run. That's what? One, two, three, four kills, five, six. Let me try something. So we are far enough away. Yeah. But then again, it's like one or two kills. Hmm. Only one. Within that whole block, it would be only one kill and everyone else would be too far away. No. 
If it wouldn't be for an extra rescue, I would definitely go for another round of kills. Too dangerous and I also don't want him to uh, to get injured yeah, last minute. We made it guys, that's one mission which we successfully uh, actually finished, besides uh, Gatecrasher. I am incredibly proud. One mission down. And we got like what, 100 intel out of it as well? Sick. Really, really good. Ooh, nice, sustain. Look at that. And two more abilities which we could uh, take later. Ooh. Um, parry is better than sustain. However, sustain is a really, really good ability. Uh, putting us in stasis when we need it the most. And we got some a grenadier and a scientist plus into so first and foremost we got a scientist that's great because it immediately reduces uh, the research time massively uh, secondly we got a grenadier let me color code and there we go so once again if you want to see your name and your character within one of the runs now is a good time to leave a comment down below Tell me if that you want to be added to the roster. There are still a couple of rookies here, by the way. Ed Galleon, Poe, Zirkim and uh, Mitch waiting for their chance. Good. Oh, nice. We got some extra supplies. That could help because we're still short and we could use a second building. Got our resistance communication done, that's good. <coughs> if we were to research the experimental weapons, that would give us access to the axe, which we could use, a pistol, uh, the shadow, shadow keeper with additional hit, the frost grenade, which yeah, in a one-man uh, one run it's probably not worth it. Yeah, the the mutant X is the only thing um, that's really helpful. Certainly not the crossbow. So instead of doing that, I would much rather go for alien biotech so we can start um, doing the autopsy for the for the alien captain. <laughs> which is a prerequisite for defense metrics. We can now make contact, which once uh, we are done here, might want to do it. And there's the first retaliation mission. Nice. Oh my gosh, that is going to suck. Um, we're going to see it in the next mission uh, or in the next episode, but boy, oh boy, I do not believe that we can pull this one off. Maybe I'm wrong. We're going to see whether or not I am. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, uh, leave a like or a comment down below as always. Uh, topics that you might want to comment on. If you were to do a one-man uh, run, which class would you take and why? Another topic uh, that I would like to hear your uh, thoughts on is which uh, mission type uh, would you like to see the most within the uh, Lone Wolf uh, run and why? So which mission type uh, would be most beneficial or would you like to see most and why? All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and see you in the next uh, episode. Bye-bye.